We are admiring your outfit because you do look like a, like a little present, like a holiday present at this point. Or you're fierce. Either way, it told, I mean, it could be multi-layered. You never know how it's going to be read. Right? <laughs> you get a little bit of softness and fierceness. It works. Yeah, it's kind of like Jessica Rabbit meets heavy metal. Amazing. I love it. That is the best description of any outfit ever. Thank you. I came up with that last night. I've just been waiting all day to say it. Bam. Bam. Worth it. Thank you. <laughs> so how did, what was the mindset you had kind of going into tonight's show? Was there anything different than last week, or was it just, this is me putting on my best no matter what? Yeah, I mean, people asked me, um, what are you going to do this week to stay out of the bottom three? And I said, I'm not going to do anything different. Um, I'm going to work really, really hard. I'm going to do my absolute best. I'm going to be myself, and I'm going to have fun. And that's what I did last week. Right. I, I had so much fun during that performance, and then tonight, I had so much fun. Because, um, you know, when when the show first approached me and said, um, how do you feel about doing Pat Benatar, We Belong? And I was like, I love that idea, but would it be cool? And I said, thought I had. Um, could we have people come out and do the claps that are in the song? And they're like, yeah, we can work that. I was like, no way. Then we met with Celia the next day, and Celia was like, okay, check this out, Kat. All right, you're going to start by playing the piano. Actually, that was my idea, but I wanted to be like on top of the staircase and then walk down it. And Celia was like, okay, no, 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 no. You're going to start. That's dangerous. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, no, I could have I could have done it. No, you, got to, you do have some fear. I, have to, I have had to walk down some stairs tonight. Um, but, uh, but yeah, he was like, he's like, okay, this is what's going to happen. You're going to start at the piano. Piano, and then you're gonna get up you're gonna have male dancers in like this great choreography and then they're gonna lift you up and they're gonna put you on that piano and it's, the piano's gonna be gold and they're gonna be wearing masks and I was like yes Sula, let's make that happen you're like that happen. and that's my song and that's my song and that's my coach um, so but I mean I never thought that I would be able to do anything like this um, so uh, it really is like it is it is it is my childhood dream come true because um, I grew up watching musicals and, and, and Broadway shows and I wasn't I wasn't the happiest kid so it was like um, those those beautiful those beautiful cinematic masterpieces um, with these giant choreographed numbers and all the costumes and the singing the perfect singing it really just transfixed me or tra transported me um, to another place and it made me very happy and so I've always wanted to do that I never was able to get into theater. We didn't really have a theater at my high school and I didn't get into it in college or anything, but um, uh, you know, it was just a dream come true to be able to do that tonight and uh, and you know, and I wouldn't be here if it weren't for people at home that were good enough to vote for me in, in the last few minutes and, and, and care to keep me here and I'm, I'll, I'll never I'll never be able to um, express my gratitude. It just never. Just never. It's the, I, every time, every time, Kat. Um, you didn't tell me that. I really, I really, I really love each and every one of you, and thank you so much for voting for me. And I just, I'm so, I'm so grateful to be here. I'm just so grateful to be here. There's, there's nothing else I can say. What I mean? What was the kind of reaction you got after you got off that stage and you were saved by Twitter? Were you getting? Did you see like thousands upon thousands of messages of support for you, like and saying we saved you? We did this. You know what was a bummer? Um, I can't figure out how to look past a certain point for Twitter. It'll, it won't let me look at all of my messages. It stops you at one point. So I wish that I. People had to tell me the next day, Neil Gaiman tweeted to save you. Amanda Palmer tweeted to save you. Freaking Christina Applegate. What? Gave you a shout out and said your performance is amazing. Um, and then and then and then everybody in between. Um CeeLo did too, and you know, like of course he did. Um but uh, you know, I had to go back and, and try and find everybody, and and uh, and I'm one of those people that I like to acknowledge every single person on Twitter and and like and and favorite all of their comments, um, and um, I try and do the best that I can, and. Um, you know, I was just a mess. I was, I was a mess. I was sobbing because um, I was so happy to be here. Um, but uh, yeah, um, and I'm very happy to be here now. And uh, just very thankful. Just very thankful. I don't think it really hit me. 
until I got back to the hotel. And I was, it was our, um, my husband and I, it was our three year anniversary. And I told him, I was like, I'm emotionally and physically exhausted. We're going to have to celebrate this anniversary some other time. I just need to go to bed. <laughs> but I know actually I spent an hour talking to people online. Uh, that's all, you know, that's all you want to do when you're saved by people. You want to give back. You want to give back as much as you can. And people are like, why aren't you out partying right now? I was like, you're the reason that I would be partying. Why would I, why would I be anywhere else? So, um, I'm just very grateful. I'm very grateful. And I just, I, I pray that I'm still here tomorrow.